the 2024 Subaru Forester Wilderness. I told you we got rid of the other red Forester. Well, it only makes sense to replace a Forester with a Forester. Yes, I am a Jeep guy. Yes, I am a truck guy. Before we got the first one, I never thought I was going to like the Subaru. I never did like Subaru before. But from having the last one, I really liked it. I really fell in love with it because they are actually very capable vehicles. And in this one, you sit in the back seat. I'm 6'1". I can sit in the back seat with me as a driving position and still have about three, three and a half inch leg room before, between my knee and the back of the front seat. They're really roomy. They're really capable, especially this Wilderness Edition. It comes with the Geolander uh, AT tires. It's a, I believe, 1.2 inch lift fat, uh, higher than the other models. And it has a lot of gadgets. It's got all the safety departures. It's got the cargo rails. And I've done some things to it, like tinted windows already. I'm not going to film that because everybody's seen that done. It's all over the internet. It has the black and out package. Black exhaust. has the bigger fender protectors and the bigger door cladding. Got the blacked out headlights, blacked out fog lights. That silver trim piece below is going to be getting blacked out. And so are the emblems. It's got the sunroof. But let's show you inside. Can't really see it in the daytime too well. Let's see if I can pick it up. But it's got the ground lights, the ground effects. Blacked out trim panels on the inside. It's got the copper accents, the bigger screen, and the StarTech upholstery. This stuff, they make it to where it's, if you go off-roading, it's really easy to clean up. So it's not leather, it's not vinyl, it's obviously not cloth. It's some special material, I think it's coated, to where if you go mudding or whatever like that, it cleans up real easy. It's got the seat heaters. This thing's got different dry modes, snow and dirt, deep snow and mud, original. This thing is fully loaded, has the paddle shifters. Got the lane departures, got the active cruise control. I mean, this thing is fully loaded. I, I got every option that you can. Nice big sunroof. Now, I'm not a sunroof fan. I would have, I would have rather had it without it, but unfortunately, they don't come without it. Look at that back seat. Got the car seat. A lot of room. A lot of room. I'll show you the back right now. It's got the upgraded Harman Kardon sound system. And yes, I did not want to go out back because I did actually test drive one. I did like the turbo part of it. This one doesn't have the turbo. But it's, you know, people say, oh my goodness, it's so much. Now look at that room. So I was just in my seating position. Actually, there's more than three and a half inches. That's like probably six. And I'm 6'1", and I am not touching the ceiling. I'm very comfortable. So, got my little baby girl's car seat. Got the limo tint on the back, 20% on the front. Power lift gate. Another car seat back there. Good cargo space. And with the upgraded model, you can power pull down the seats just like that there's a couple things I am going to do to this like the front and rear dash cameras and side dash cameras but other than that that's pretty much it 
This is my new daily driver to replace the Honda Civic. And this is the new vehicle. So this is going to be a new short view, uh, new video, but I just wanted to show you guys. I realize I have not shown you guys the engine. Let me get that real quick. And uh, I know the videos haven't been too exciting lately because it's just all new car reveals and all over the place. It's going to change. I promise you, I went back. I looked at the videos that you guys all comment on and like and has the most views. We're going to get back to that. We are. I promise. Boxer engine, 2.5 liter, all stock. It's all going to stay stock. The only thing I'm going to change is probably put a dropping cane in air filter. And that's probably about it. Other than that, this is it. The new 2024 Subaru Forester. Again, if you guys like the channel, like seeing any of the vehicles, if you guys want to know any more information on any of the vehicles we have, because maybe you're considering them uh, or want my opinion on them, please leave comments, ask me the questions. I'll be more than happy to answer any and all of them. Um, and you know what? Even if you guys are local and you subscribe and you tell me you subscribe and you like one of the vehicles, I might take you out in it. Oh, my wife's home early in the new 2024 Jeep Wrangler. So if you like the channel, please hit that subscribe button, leave comments, leave a like, and remember, get out and work on it.